Uh, today I'm just going to show a quick demo of a fairly new tool that we are developing uh, in, the, in the Nixio platform. This thing is called uh, Nixio Web Easy. And the idea is that this tool can help you uh, to speed up and to help you to learn more about uh, web automation. Okay, so we'll see how this thing works right now. So uh, Nixio Web Easy is a uh, Chrome browser extension. At the time of this recording, it's still not uploaded yet to uh, the Chrome Web Store. So, but by the time you look at this, it should be out there now. So, what you do is just go to Chrome Web Store, search for Nixio Web Easy, and just go ahead and install it. Right? And once you install it, it should come up in your um, uh, Chrome browser with a little icon here on the side and look something like this. Let me just clear this off. Okay. So, you're looking for Nixio Web Easy, and you should be able to find it on the Web Store fairly easily. Once you got it, uh, then you can just go ahead and use it, right? So let's give it a try. So here I have a website that, that you can see. This is a fairly common you know, kind of a uh, testing website, if you will. It's a registration page, so we're going to, try to automate this one here. So first thing we do is we click on the uh, inspect uh, button. You can you can put a URL in here and inspect that, or you can inspect the current page, which I'm, I'm going to do that right now. I click on that. Now I can put that away, and now I can start. Uh, going through my steps, and what happened is as I'm interacting with this web page, then uh, WebEasy is going to uh, track my steps and and convert them into uh, Nexo commands. Right? Then, which from there I can then use those things to add back to my uh, scripts, and so hopefully that way it will simplify the automation process or the scripting process. Okay. First thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm loading this page correctly and I give it enough time. So I'm going to do a right click here on the title and say wait until this element is visible, which will be this element. Right? Uh, you notice that there is a, a kind of um, ads on the bottom here. And uh, sometimes if your website or your, your um, browser window is too small, this thing might be covering some of this uh, UI element. So what I want to do is I want to also get rid of that. And so what I would do is this little triangle right here that you see, I'm going to do a right click. Again, same thing. Wait until right, the element is visible. Then I will click on that. So now it's gone. And let's go ahead and enter this um, form. So it's all dummy data at this point. And I'm going to click on a few things in here. Put some phone number. Okay. There is a bug in this uh, uh, birth. Uh, date of birth, so I'm going to skip that for now. The bug is on the, the web page itself, so I'm going to skip that for now. Let's go to subject, and I will put in, say, math, maybe, uh, maybe computer science. Uh, let's do one more, maybe biology. Right? Okay, and then I'll pick uh, sports and music. Okay, and uh, let's put some address. Okay, Anytown, USA, for the Seinfeld fans out there. Uh, okay, then I'm going to pick a state, and uh, these are my only options. I'll pick those and click on Submit. And because this is a test website, so it, it's actually not going to process this information on the server side. It's just going to display what I typed in. But that's fine. We can use this as our validation for our automation. So uh, one thing you can do is you can highlight some text and then validate that that text uh, is present. That selected text is present. Right? And again, WebEasy is going to take those actions that I just performed and translate it into a Nixio command. We'll see that in, in a few minutes. Now I want to validate that the, the data that I enter are all present in this uh, table here. Okay, so uh, I'll just validate as many as I can. Skip by the, the date of birth. And validate the subject. Let's see, hobbies, the address, and then finally, state and city. And I click on close. Okay, then we're done. Now, let's see what's happened here now with WebEasy. So, I'm going to click on stop, and then you can see that all the uh, steps that, that, that uh, I have performed has been recorded in here. Okay. Um, Something uh, to note here is that while I'm interacting with the web page, uh, not all my 
uh, input or, or not all my intentions are recorded. So for example, this wet, wet, uh, wait until visible, right? It requires a second parameter of a max wait time. I did not specify that. I could not specify that during the time of, of uh, the inspection. So I will do this now manually. So you can click on this icon here, the, the edit icon, and then put in some wait time. This will be the max wait time that I'm willing to wait for that information for this element to be uh, to be visible, right? And uh, okay, then you can look at the locator now. Uh, this is the part that, that WebEZ is performing on our behalf. Uh, I know that there are many tools out there, inc including the, the Chrome Dev tools that can help you with some of this information. But what WebEZ is doing here is uh, taking a different uh, approach to this, right? So rather than just giving you the absolute or the closest uh, locator that would match what you what you are um, targeting, it's trying to come up with a locator that uh, either is precise or readable. So in this case, right, you can get it this way. This is this this is the right locator for that for this element, this uh, title right here. But maybe that will be a, a better option because it is more readable. And you can see the text right here, which is corresponding to the text right here. So, right. So uh, per se, you might go, you know, I have three options. Actually, I'm going to pick this one instead, right? This It's more readable. And readability, right, it's, it's a good thing. You, you want to be able to make your scripts uh, readable and, and, and understandable and so forth. And it, things will become more maintainable if you can understand what you're looking at. Right? So I'm going to pick this instead, right? Okay. Um, there's a little icon here on the side. This actually would uh, bring up a new tab uh, to the, uh, the documentation for this command. So if, in case you're looking at some command and you don't quite understand what it does, you can click on this little icon and you'll get the documentation for that. Right? So um, just as a convenience. Of course, you can just Google for that as well, but you know it's right here. Okay, uh, moving on. So same thing here with the wait until the second wait until that I have to uh, close the ad. So I'm going to keep it like a second here to make sure it's there. Then I will click on that, that little triangle. If you remember from uh, you know, a few minutes ago when we're doing this. So clicking on that little triangle will uh, dismiss the ads. And so now I have no more ads on the bottom of the screen. And then we move on to actually doing all the, uh, uh, filling up the form, right? So the first name, last name, email, so on and so forth. And uh, eventually uh, I click on that one, the submit button is on the bottom. And same thing here, right? There are multiple options. So I could have picked this one. This would be the shortest one. Potentially, that might be the best option because it's short. It's uh, and 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 you know, reasonably so. The shorter it is, the easier it is to maintain. Right? That's how we think. But maybe a little bit longer, it's okay because it's more readable. It's a little bit more understandable. But the options are here. You can pick the one that you like the best and just use that one. Right. So if you like it very short, then here's the option. Uh, if you like it a little bit more readable, you can pick that option. Okay. Uh, then here is the, the selection <clears throat> that, that I put in, right? That's like the, um, from the pop-up uh, table uh, that you saw a few minutes ago. And so now it translated this command, a sort of text present, and here's what I selected, right? And then more validation. So now this validation is to check that this element is present again. If I am selecting in my uh, locator the, the, the text that I see, this is what I typed in. So I could pick another one if I want to, but this one is uh, pretty good. Or maybe something like that with a with a with some kind of a uh, parent element is pretty good uh, because I can look at that and I can read that and, and I can understand what I'm looking at, right? So, um, but there are options you can pick one of the options you want. Okay, so we went through all this validation and at the very end, then we we'll click on the closed button to finish the whole thing. And let's see how it runs on Excel. So I'm going to click on copy. Okay, now this information is copied to my clipboard. I already have a script here set up. I'm just going to uh, paste it into here. Right? Just do a control V and paste it right in there or you know, command V if you're on Mac. And then there's your information. And you can still modify this, of course, right? This is now in, in Nexio now. Um, but this is a, a, a quick way, uh, perhaps a good way to learn uh, about automating or doing web automation in Nexio because most of the the, the groundwork, the label has been done for you. And so you can run this now to check out how it works and then maybe modify or adjust the script accordingly, right? Before we do that, let's just put some, a uh, little bit more information in here on the activity side. So I'm just going to say this is uh, 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 ensure readiness, right? Because we're trying to get sure, make sure the web page is ready. 
and then right about here is where I actually go in and fill in the registration. Registration. And later on, right about uh, the submit button right here, no, this one here, right? So this is where I'm doing the validate the registration information. Okay, just to give a little bit more context, so I have three activities with various steps. All right, so let's give this a run. So I'm running this in interactive mode, and uh, so the script is already loaded. I just reload that again, let's execute, and let's see what happened. And then there it is. It's all, uh, I'm just maximizing so you can see. There we go. So you can see all the validation that all the steps that it took place. Right? Uh, you know, open the URL, did a bunch of form validations. I mean, sorry, form um, interaction here, right? Fill in the information, and then all the validation happened in here. And the whole thing took uh, the 35 steps. It took like six second ish, right? There you have it. So uh, do check it out. Give it, give it, give it a try. And uh, any feedback, we're more than happy to. Entertain your thoughts uh, or defects or whatever the case may be. This is an open source project as well, so uh, you know, no no cost to you to, to try this out. Uh, you can find us on GitHub uh, and in this uh, on GitHub project, you can also create a defect uh, or Slack is a good way to do that as well. All right, thanks guys.